A History of Books Hi there! Today we are going to learn about books. Books have been with us for thousands of years. Over the years, we've used them for learning, teaching, entertainment and even for decoration. But have you ever wondered how books came to be? Let's find out. Before books, we had scrolls. There were long rolls made either from papyrus, which is a type of grass, or parchment, which is a material made from animal hide. But these scrolls tended to be fragile, cumbersome, and difficult to store. They could be as long as 10 meters. Furthermore, the text written on scrolls was not divided into neat pages. So it was impossible to use bookmarks or any other markers while reading scrolls. Another disadvantage was that scrolls had to be kept open using both hands. This meant that the reader could not make notes or copy text while reading. These disadvantages led to the development of the codex. It was the next step towards the development of books. It solved many of the problems faced while using scrolls. Soon after this, the folds of papyrus were cut to make leaves or pages. Then these leaves were bound together along one edge and thus humankind came one step closer to making modern books. Codices looked like modern books. But they had two key elements missing. The first was paper. Codices were mainly made from sheets of papyrus or vellum. Papyrus only grew in Egypt and was thus not readily available elsewhere. Vellum was made from animal skin, thus it was very expensive. These problems were solved by paper. Paper travelled from China via the Middle East to Europe. It was cheaper to produce and the material from which it was made was readily available. There was another key element holding books from taking their final form. This was the printing press. Before the invention of the printing press, the letters in books were painstakingly written by hand. This made making books an extremely labor-intensive and expensive job. In the 15th century, a German goldsmith named Johannes Gutenberg invented the printing press. With this, words on pages could be printed instead of being written. Thus, making books became cheaper, faster and easier. This began the printing revolution and books as we know them finally came to be. So that was the history of books. Wasn't it fascinating? I'll be back with more interesting information. Till then, find out what was the first book published by Gutenberg. That's all for today. Bye-bye.